Today we have a little update video for you guys. So, um, just one thing I want to say first. Um, every single dime that I make of my money, whether it's from birthdays or Christmas, and it all goes to my RC hobby. So, just to clarify that, and I do have a job. So, yeah. So, let's get on to the Emacs. So, I did get this for Christmas. This is my newest addition to the RC collection. And so far, I've probably ran about an hour through this so far, maybe more. And this is a really fun truck. Like, it's, it's, it's just amazing. I'm just having a blast. And in, the, in both of the unboxing videos, you saw my friend Chris. Yeah, so one day we literally just drove for like an hour just out in the backyard track and we just had a blast with both of our cars. So that's going well. And one thing I did notice though with the Emacs and same with the Erevo, um, the slipper clutch transmission after about like 30 minutes of running it will actually come loose and you need to regulate that and I will be doing a separate video on that. But enough with the Emacs. We're going to go to the Stampede. So, as you know, uh, I've done a couple of upgrades to this so far. Bumpers and new tires, but I still have RPM A-arms and shock towers that I still need to install. I just haven't had the time to do the video on it. But I will be getting another set of uh, Pro-Line Street Fighter tires. So that's about it for this. Um, I've just been running this around, you know, it's just a blast, constant wheelie. So, in this, we go to the Slash. And so far, uh, I haven't been running this truck as much as I would like. But, uh, yeah, so there's a couple more upgrades I need to do this for, but... Um, other than that, it's just been a great truck, and I um, hope to run it some more. It's just been a great truck. I have some more upgrades, but yeah, that's about it for this truck. And then for the Erevo. So, I have been driving this truck a lot. This is a very fun truck. I do really enjoy this. And uh, so, for this truck, I have... I just got some front RPM A-arms for this truck, so there soon will be a video on that. But besides a tire, new I mean new tires in a body, because these actually, um, they have been ripping, like, constantly. So, yeah, but besides that, this, you know, I mean, this truck really doesn't need much upgrades. I mean, the only thing I'm going to do is probably a new body, and that's that's probably about it. But yeah, so enough with that truck. This is a super fun truck, and I love it. And I don't know if you guys can see, but in order to fit those Venom batteries, I'd actually take the battery vents out of them so the um, external leads could fit. But uh, yeah, so it's a great truck, and yeah. So that is all for the update. If you have any questions about these trucks, just post them on down below. And this is the RC Network signing out. All right, guys, this is just a continuation of the update video. But I do have a question for you guys. Um, question one is what color theme should the uh, Emacs be? Basically, I would like the um, color themes to stay between... Um, blue, black, purple, or silver, and black, and any combinations of those colors um, would be fine with me, but I just want to know um, what you guys think the color should be. Um, you know, I do have two red themed cars, red and one red and black and one red and white, and then I do have a blue themed car, so I'm thinking blue or purple, because I know RPM does make purple A-arms, skid plates, and um, I think they're called bulkhead braces. So, yeah, just a, a quick little kind of feedback question there. Just uh, post it down below. But, yeah, 
so that's my question for the Emacs. Peace.